Hey, what's up? Golden Beer here. Let's solve another puzzle set. So, what's the situation? The situation is that the rook is uh, almost trapped, right? Our rook is also almost trapped. So, what can I do? I can attack the rook, attack my, attacks my rook. No. I pin the knight. So that the knight cannot move. And I'm saying that I'm attacking the rook. Next. Um, what does my opponent do is doing? Um, moves the rook away. Where? To somewhere like G. If it moves the rook away. Then I can take the bishop. So it doesn't move the rook. It takes my bishop, takes my bishop, and is happy. So I cannot do a slow move like uh, rook d6, uh, d6. Right. But if I take his bishop and then attack his rook, he takes my rook and then takes my bishop, and everything is fine. Mm. So that's also not working. What if I simply take his knight and then pin his bishop further? Right? I take his knight. Then, yeah, let's do it. Mm, because this is not working, I attack his... I take his other rook first. But if it gives discovery check to me, what kind of discovery he has? He doesn't have a good discovery. Or he has. Hmm? Where does the bishop go? So I can say check. And then win the bishop, but saying check doesn't help me much because uh, he can he attacks my knight as well. It's not that I'm saying check and I'm safe. Ah, I say check and then I attack his rook. Check, attack the rook, take the pawn. Uh, it wasn't pawn, it was a bishop. So... And now what to do? Time to say check. Take pawn check. So I want to say check. Then take the pawn and say check. He is forced to take it with the rook. Then check with the knight. He is forced to um, uh, take my bishop. Take his bishop, say check with the queen. He has no option but just to go back. Again, no, it doesn't work. So, so luckily the first move worked. Um, bishop h7 worked. Mm, what's the plan? The plan is to fork this queen, I believe. So, first say check with the knight. Which knight? Uh, I can say check with both knight on g6. So most likely check at g6 is not the option. Otherwise, there should be a reason to give check with one of the knights first. So let's think if there is a reason you know, to use one of the knights. Say check with one of the knights. So let's say h knight, which is under attack, for example. Takes. Then uh, if takes, we t say check with the other knight, it's nothing. Right? 
if it doesn't take it uh, there is no option to not take it. ah there is a option to take the bishop not taking the knight and for that okay i don't see any winning move here let me take that pawn yeah i just didn't see any winning move with uh, knight check no i have a knight check yeah and then knight, next knight check and then mate okay why i saw it so late because i was thinking about taking pieces back this is a common pattern with queen and knight if uh, the f, mm, uh, f7 is occupied by some piece you can mate the knight as a uh, king strangely in the back rank so i can check and win the rook or i cannot i cannot because he returns with the queen i say check it place queen uh, check at c5 place queen d4 and blocks my queen what about check at the back rank check at the back rank he should certainly move the king because if this time he retrieved the queen to the f1 then i'd say check at c5 and win his rook so check at the back rank king goes up where wherever it goes oh i can also take the g pawn it's a little bit scary but apparently it is working right take the g pawn king goes there if king moves then it's uh, finished um, bishop check uh, or bishop discovery check is the uh, end of a day so rook comes to g2 and then i have a check at uh, e1 and i can grab the rook but the issue is that he can give me okay so let me check everything I check at the back rank, he has no option but to move the king to h2. And for king h2, I really have no good response. Because if I take the rook at b4, my opponent, my opponent, the engine will take the g pawn with the rook takes the g-pawn with the rook i take back with the bishop and then it starts to check me forever perpetual check so apparently this is not a good option to go to d1 check what about going to mm, going to e3 check after uh, g3 go to e3 check as we said earlier uh, now uh, after g3 queen g3 should play uh white should play rook g2 so but uh, this also doesn't seem good queen g3 then queen e3 then king goes h2 and i should go to defensive mode this time is even worse so maybe taking the g pawn is not good maybe checking back rank is good but checking back rank i didn't consider it because it immediately goes to h2 uh, queen c1 king h2 and what do i have nothing so it's either is there any other check queen can check in three places and we have discovered all these, these three places and it's not possible to find another check so no uh, and there's no other piece to give a check so queen c5 revisited queen c5 plays queen d4 and i'm doomed because i mean what can i do there uh, i have one back rank check and there is nothing so i think this is the best option for me no matter what and uh, here is difficult part I have only one possible, two possible checking options. Sorry, queen e3 and e1. 
even enables me to grab the rook. E3 doesn't enable me to do anything. Ah, I have another one. I say check by taking the rook and then discovery with the bishop. Wow, why I didn't see this? Wow, it took me too long to find it. Don't be like me, guys. So this is an easy mate, right? Bishop takes the pawn, check, and there is no way to accept to accept the sacrifice and easy mate. Oh, cool. At least the last one was easy. Okay, guys, that was today's session. See you next time.